You know what we're finding is that we've been doing these programs across the country, and in Portland, for example, we 500 homes creates 15 jobs for one year instead of creating a spike at one time. And so as we think about replicating the, the programs across the country and really first making it one clear program, the thing that's so attractive about Cash for Clunkers is it is that the auto industry then said, we're going to sell this program. And so to me, the question for us as a group and is how do we do a good job of as there are programs that are being replicated and scaled, of marketing it not as a program of the federal government, right. but as a cost savings economic program. Because I think, you know, from having the experience as someone who just watched the climate debate, the failure for me in my mind is I try to think about how to talk about the climate to my grandmother. And what my grandmother wants to know is about cash for clunkers. She wants to know how do you save money? And I think if we could even begin to just talk about this in terms of what we're trying to figure out as a group is how to create American jobs how to uh, um, decrease um, you know, unemployment, how to make sure that people's utility bills get cheaper. That's really, I think, our task. Because then you say, look, I'm in Portland. You know, I'm, I'm an environmentalist, but most importantly, I'm someone who had a middle class mom who's a single mom, and I want to try to figure out how people like that have jobs. And right. so I think that's, I think, our and challenge so is to talk about that. You know, Mr. President